What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here tonight. We're going to be making buffalo chicken wings on the Weber kettle. Let's do it. Hello, everybody. So tonight we're going to be making chipotle garlic roasted buffalo wings on the Weber kettle. And let me tell you, I cannot wait to make these. Uh, I really do appreciate all the comments from everybody. As a matter of fact, I got a great tip last week from John Thornton, subscriber. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Apparently, he has big hands, too. And he suggested using a wooden spoon to get under that skin so you don't break it. And you can actually put some uh, some oil and some, some spices on the wooden spoon to get it down in there. I thought that was awesome. Thank you very much. Keep on giving me those comments. I love them. So for the new uh, people to the channel, I want to thank you for stopping by. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And also make sure you ring that notification bell so we get all of our notifications of our new videos that are coming out. For the current subscribers, I want to thank you all for your support. Make sure you keep hitting that thumbs up as well as leaving the comments down below. So everybody, let's get cooking. Let's start with our ingredients. So right dead center, we've got about 18 beautiful chicken wings already pre-cut pre-prepped uh, I've got them from BJ's that's where I got these uh, they are so good and they're big <laughs> they come frozen just thaw them out and they're ready to go man these things are fails fail proof so I recommend these highly uh, top left there we've got your whatever your favorite buffalo wing sauce is Moore's is good I've used it before I really like Budweiser too the one that looks like a little bit Budweiser bottle there's so many different kinds, whatever one is your favorite. Uh, and then we're going to use a little bit of olive oil uh, to help crisp up the skin, as well as the chipotle roasted garlic seasoning from McCormick's. It's great. I've used it before. I've never used it on chicken wings, so I'm looking forward to this, but I have used it before. So first step, we're going to do a nice light coat of olive oil, and we're going to speed up the process here a little bit. It's just basically a coat of olive oil, the chipotle, roasted garlic seasoning, and then that's it. Flip them over and repeat. Same thing. Olive oil as a binder, then our roasted chipotle garlic seasoning, and that's it. Real simple. So, so outside at the grill, we've got, we've got our chimney star ready to go. We've got our Kingsford Blue. And for this particular cook, we're going to fill this thing up about three quarters, I'd say, with that awesome charcoal. And get your newspaper down below and give it a light. And we're going to let this thing sit for about 15 minutes or so till that paper's gone and all you see is just some sparks coming out of the top. And that's when you know it's ready. So about 15 minutes later, you see some flames coming up, some sparks coming up. I highly recommend using gloves for this if you have never done this before. I've done it a million times, so that's kind of why I, I do this. But um, do what I say, not what I do. <laughs> that's pretty. That's kind of a funny model that I use all the time. So anyway, um, you want to get your coals in the, the, the baskets there. And you can see they're about three quarters lit, which is good because you want them to continue to, to heat up. And here we go. We just kind of separate them out, get them nice and even in those baskets, get it nice and centered in that grill. And then we're going to put the grill grate on the top. Um, and the chicken wings are going to go around the outer circle. So grill grates on, and we're gonna shut that lid and get this thing nice and preheated. Wanna get up to about 450 degrees. That's kind of what I'm shooting for here. Doesn't take that long, let me tell you. Open up the top vent, open up the bottom, bam. About five minutes later, it's up to 450. And we're ready to put our chicken wings on. So here we go. Chicken wings are 
going on the outer ring and nice and easy one by one keep them you don't want to bunch them up uh, and we'll speed up the process here a little bit there we go boom magic of editing <laughs> open it up and there we go all our wings are surrounded and then we're going to add that piece of hickory get a little smoke to this uh, right there in the center on top of the fire and that's it we shut the lid and we're going to count to 10 minutes uh, once we shut this lid I'll show you kind of how the setup looks there it is we're going to shut the lid and we're going to cook it for 10 minutes uh, and then we're going to turn them all right so here 10 minutes is up I actually already turned half of these I forgot that I did not hit the start button on the um, on my phone so here we go I hit start we're gonna turn the second half here we go 10 minutes in we're gonna flip them around the second half that I did not catch on video here and you can see them starting to brown up nicely that seasoning is looking great um, that hickory is starting to smoke you can see that as well it's gonna give it that really nice smoky flavor I'll give you kind of like a close-up of what it looks like um, there they are after the first 10 minutes you can see some grill marks on there you can see that fire is nice and hot it looks really nice and the hickory is smoking so that's it 10 minutes we shut the lid after we turn it and we give it another 10 minutes before we look at them again So grill is shut and here we go 10 minutes later ooh, now you can really see them starting to get done so now we're 20 minutes in here the hickory is definitely smoking down and we turn them so I'll cut forward here so we don't have to watch me turn 18 wings <laughs> uh, but that's what they're looking like so here we go now we're almost done and that is what they're looking like. Wow, they're looking good. So another close-up, kind of to see where we're at after 20 minutes. Fire still holding strong. Love this Weber. Love that Kingsfur blue. And look at those wings, man. The color's coming in nicely, and they are looking delicious. All right, so now after five minutes... Um, here's the plan we are going to uh, take a look I'll show you what they look like after another so now we're 25 minutes in and that hickory is smoking big time now we're getting that nice smoke flavor you can see the spices on there looking great and they look awesome so after five minutes in we're gonna take them off here and we're gonna put them in the buffalo sauce uh, we're gonna mix them around in the buffalo sauce uh, you can see right here I got the pan ready you got the, the buffalo sauce we just add a little bit of buffalo sauce in the bowl we're gonna take them off we're gonna mix them up and then put them right back on but this time we're gonna put them over the center flame and just for a couple more minutes after that we're gonna char them up so that's it we're 25 minutes in here we go take them off throw them in the little buffalo sauce bath quickly <laughs> speed it up a little bit and that's it we're gonna toss them up real good get them nice and evenly coated and here is where I've made a mistake in the past I, I used to just dump the whole thing right on top of the flame and that was not a good thing it would just cause crazy smoke and uh, it would douse the flame basically so you want to take them off with the tongs yeah two or three at a time is fine you just don't want to dump all that sauce in there it just kind of puts out the fire which is not a good thing so here we go we're taking them off two or three at a time we put them right in that center center ring um, and we are going to watch them cook and we're going to leave the lid open here because we want that oxygen to get to the flames to make them nice and hot. 
uh, the charcoal that is to make it nice and hot and so we leave it open here and we're just gonna after literally about every 30 seconds we're just gonna come in and just kind of spin them um, get the spatula turn them um, over and and you'll see they start to char up they dry out a little bit uh, this is just the way I like them there's a local restaurant in town here that, that, that makes them this way that's where I learned it from this technique and I just fell in love with it and um, yeah so <laughs> that's that's why I cook them this way I know the majority of people probably around the country eat their buffalo wings wet and uh, but I I after I had these I'm like oh well, these are awesome so um, so here we go so we just want to at this point we're just turning them little you know one by one to see which ones because it's hard to you can't really turn them all over one by one when you're mixing them up with that spatula uh, so you just want to mix them a couple times and then you kind of want to check to see which ones need a little bit more heat on them so we're almost there you can see that one on the outside that thing got toasted <laughs> I don't know how that happened so we'll stick them back in close to the edge there and uh, that's it another <laughs> that's it they're pretty much done look at these this is exactly what you want these to look like just charred on the outside not too much the inside the meat is cooked perfectly nice and tender you don't want them rubbery you don't want to overcook them that's the goal and these came out beautiful here we go Hoo -wee! we got ourselves some chipotle roasted garlic Buffalo wings on the Weber kettle, and man, they look delicious. Uh, let me tell you, I've been using the McCormick's uh, Montreal steak and Montreal chicken seasoning for a long time. I just got turned on to this uh, Chipotle roasted garlic. It's very good. I've used it a couple times already. I cannot wait to taste the chicken wings. Uh, we did it on the Weber kettle. You saw um, how we did it, kind of the ring method around the, the center fire. I do not have a vortex yet, but I'm going to get one because I've heard a lot of great things about them. But let me tell you, I don't even know if I need it because look how nice these turned out. They look delicious. And then, of course, I like to pull them off, soak them up in that sauce, and throw them back on for just a couple minutes just to char them up. Look at how nice that looks. Oh. That's how I like them. Some people like them wet. Some people like them a little charred like this. This is how I like them. And there's nothing wrong with either way. So uh, whatever floats your boat. So I am going to dig in on one of these chicken wings right now because, oh my God, they smell delicious. I don't know which one to pick. I think I'm gonna pick this big fat sucker right here. Oh yeah, look at that. Give it a little twist. Oh, look at that. Look at that. The smoke. I forgot. The hickory smoke. Look at that pinkness right there. Oh, that looks beautiful. Let's give that a bite. Mmm. Wow, you can taste the chipotle and the, the garlic. Mmm, the skin tastes outstanding. Wow. Mmm, loaded with flavor. Little bit of heat, but not much. More flavor, just a little kick, not too much. Tastes absolutely delicious. Everybody, you gotta try this recipe. Um, you'll love it. I guarantee it. Thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting, and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat out.